on to stuffing the cabbage itself. What we have here is the cabbage that's already been boiled. As you can see, I have already cut out the hard part of the heart. We're going to take this, put this down. We're going to take some of the ground beef that has already been seasoned, that you've already seen. We're going to put that right in there. All right, then we're going to fold this over, and we're simply going to roll the cabbage with the meat. Now, if you look inside of here, you will see that I have already coated the bottom of the cornyware dish with the tomato sauce. So this gets placed inside. Let's do that again. I took the liberty of pre-preparing these in order to save time in today's broadcast. So again, you take the cabbage, you put some down on the leaf, take the ground beef, put that on top, you fold, and you roll. And you place it inside. Now, I have prepared some other ones as well to, I guess you could say, work as fillers. That will go inside of here. I'm stuffing the stuffed cabbage plate, so to speak. That'll fit in there just nice. As it breaks down, it'll then all mold together. Now what you're going to do, you're going to take some potatoes. Now this is purely optional. I find that it adds a great bit of flavor to the meal itself. Then, we're going to take the tomato sauce and we're going to generously cover this over. Now, when this is all covered over, you're going to put a piece of tin foil on top, and you're going to put it in the oven preheated on 350 degrees. You're going to bake it for about two, two and a half hours. Keep checking. You'll hear it sizzle. It looks and it smells out of this world. And then, when it's done, you're going to take an extra five minutes, and you're going to put some shredded cheese on top. And that's going to come out fantastic. And you'll see the finished product in just a bit. Oh, in case you're wondering what to do with the extra chopped meat. Now, if I had a bigger cornerware dish to work with today, I would have then just rolled some meatballs and put them in there and it would all blend nicely. But I'm going to take a second one and you're going to see what I'm going to do with these meatballs. This is a general way that I normally make them. You will enjoy it. So, we'll be right back.